Panther of Adolescence Episode 10 We start the episode with Aman is usual issues Kasi uh, bigla may dumating na sulat From From his father Who himself is a stable owner The pressure mounted On Amani right away Then he overheard this conversation With um between Kuji at si uh, si si Instructor Mihara eh dati pa lang magkaklase ito sa, sa horse racing school and eventually uh, they went out they both went out to become jockeys nauna nga lang uh, nabigyan ng break si si Ihara then came Kuji pero on the um, on the siguro before the before the race na una silang magtatapat bigla na announce ng kanyang retirement si si Ihara and well sinabi na kagad ni Kuji we haven't proverbially we haven't settled the score yet na overheard ni Amanito eventually nag-usap sila ni ng kanyang instructor eh inamin naman ng Ihara Isang burning question ng ang binato ni Amane sa kanyang instructor. Instructor, um, what were you what uh, what were your feelings when you were a jockey? Yung tinanong, tinanong niya. And Iara just said nothing. That's why I retired. Second half of the episode now focused on uh, Shun and is uh, and the horse he always takes care of. Si, si Kiske It was his last race Then uh, Biglang umulan Umpisa ng karera Then all of a sudden Kumidlat Then uh, Nakita na lang ng lahat na Bumagal na si Si Kiske Ayaw na niyang tumakbo Then he raised his right leg like that And well, everyone just said Okay eh, Sabi na lang ng, ng owner niya Now we've done it that means only one thing, guys. Napilay yung kabayo. And, well, it's, it's standard operation, standard operating procedure already in, uh, in the horse racing industry that when a horse gets injured, he gets euthanized. Yung anak ng may-ari ng kabayo, eh, ang, ang sinisisi doon, si, si Shun. Then later on, uh, everyone thought he was fine. Then si Kirarin, yung isang kabayo, uh, the, the, other, the other horse he takes care of, and yun, yun, yun ang Oak Diamond eh, si Oak Diamond, eh, well, hindi na niya makausap. Kirarin no longer responds to his, uh, his questions. Then all of a sudden, he just, parang, uh, parang na-feel na lang niya na that the horses don't want to talk to him anymore. Final scene. Uh, si, yung kanyang, what you call this, yung kanyang supervisor, si, si Kikumi, hindi mahanap si Shun uh, on, on the, uh, the next morning. So, tinanong niya ako, teka, nasa ko na Shun? The stable uh, he was assigned to was really was awfully quiet. Ando pa yung yung uh, kumaga yung kwadra kung saan nila nilalagay nun si Kiske. And may may, may, may altar kasi ngayon doon kasi nga kamamatay lang nakabayo. So Patreon, Bigo, mga ka lifestyle. We're not going to we're not going to uh, do this review for long guys. Bye Butterfly. We're gonna break this episode down now, critics of style. Pace! The pacing went excruciating nung na injure si Kiske. It was excruciating from the point of, from the scene wherein Kiske was injured up to the point where he was put down. Tapos na augment pa ito nung, yan, nagkasisihan si Shun at yung anak ng may-ari. Do I have complaints, mga ka-lifestyle? Nope. Absolutely not. Flow naman. First gear shift was when uh, I 
only saw two gear shifts here, folks. The first one was nung... Well, the moment na uh, nagulat si... Nagulat yung kabayo, si Kiske, sa kidlat, eh, you can actually tell, that, tell it from that scene. Eh. Final gear shift was... Uh, was the moment when Shun realized that the horses don't want to talk to him, don't want to, um, yeah, don't want to communicate with him anymore. Not because he, he got onto his ear, parang wala na siyang marinig na boses mula sa mga kabayo. And, well, based on that gear shift, you can say na, <clears throat> uh, yeah, na trauma sa kamatayan ni Kisuke. First, it was you who had a crisis. Now, it's Shun. Ano tayo? Kaya ako tinawag na gear shift ito. So, these two gear shifts that I saw definitely will play a role in Shun's character development in the final three episodes of this anime. Plot-wise. No side stories or backstories, even though na, cha, even though na, uh, the first half of the story kon med, medyo na focus ke sa issues ni Amane, eh. then second half yun yung uh, the Kiske incident. Malinis pa rin ang plot Patreon, bigo, mga ka lifestyle, because. If you want to fully showcase the drama element of an anime, you do it this way. A clean plot. Eh, road to the finale na nga, lalagyan mo pa ng... Lalagyan mo pa ng side story or back story. Don't you think it's too late for that? Only a clean plot will make you feel the, um... Um... Uh, what what Shun was going through here? What Shun is actually going through here in the final moments of that episode? Mukha talaga na trauma yung bata sa kamatayan ng ng kabayo na talagang inalak yung talagang alaga ng kabayo. Mukong yeah. Wow. This may be an even bigger this may be an even bigger crisis than than what you went through. Uh, in episodes 5 to episodes 5 to 7 <clears throat> talagang uh, talagang maramdaman mo rin road to the finale na talaga uh, that this anime is about to end so pace flow and plot they all came together for this episode though. so time for adolescence episode 10 Why shouldn't I? Two thumbs up! Uh, as I said a while ago, guys, matagal ng sakit ng horse racing industry ito. Konting injury lang, patutulugin na nila yung kabayo. Right? It has happened to, to some of the greatest horses in history. Right? It has happened to, to the greatest of them. There's, a horse can still be useful after an injury. Pwede pa naman mag... Pwede pa naman maglaki yun eh. Am I right? But anyway, if this episode doesn't open your eyes to uh, to the dark side of the horse race... Of the, of the sport of horse racing, I don't know what will. So again, Fanfare of Adolescence, episode 10, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for this anime, mga lifestyle. Wow. A really sad ending, but it, but it didn't start with a human. So Patreon, Pigo, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, namatay na nga tayo ng kabayo, ganyan pa rin kayo. Eh, panonorin ko na lang kayo uli mag-chill-chill dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.